Phyllis in Minnesota. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a collaboration with Mariah from Mariah Sierra 94 and uh, we are going to do a collaboration video called the uh, top five for fall and I will link her video below and we will post them. Hopefully we'll get them around the same time um, up on YouTube and you guys can watch those. I have not seen what her um, top five are and she hasn't seen mine and um, you know I'm so excited to see hers I hope you guys will be um, excited to see mine and we'll definitely go over and visit her channel as well leave her a comment let her know what you think uh, she has some great videos I love her tutorials and um, yeah so let's get started mine I kind of put into categories um, I do live in we live on totally opposite sides uh, pretty much of the country I'm in Minnesota and um, you know, the beginning of October, we have actually already had snow. It did not stick around, but it's already cold here. So a lot of my uh, top fives have to do with the fall and the winter. And, uh, you know, it's we can always pretty much guarantee snow by the 31st and <laughs> of October. You start changing and the air gets really kind of cool. I'm ready for fall. And these are my top fives that I have picked. Um, I'll start out with accessories. I've kind of done different categories. I've done, the first one that I have is a scarf. Now I got this, a great houndstooth black and white scarf. This one has a little bit of fringe uh, on the bottom. I picked this up at Target and this was actually last year but I checked online and they do have um, other options of this, very similar, but this is a basic black and white. Um, I do say white but it's more of a little bit of ivory. But this scarf, I, I mean I absolutely love it. It's a wrap it. Uh, pretty much style it any way that you want it and I tell you it's it's so great because a great scarf can dress up any outfit especially with the black and white pattern it goes with any colors like I'm wearing a uh, burgundy top today that I got from the Gap it's a basic v-neck but uh, like I said when it gets fall here it gets a little cool I have a v-neck on but when I add a scarf it gives me a little bit of extra coverage uh, for like warmth and black and white goes with, like I said, burgundy. It goes with reds. You can wear it with the white top. Uh, you can wear it with a black top, any color. So I think that a great fall essential would be a scarf. I mean, you, it, it works pretty much for anything. Um, I have noticed, too, that sometimes in the fashion magazines, and I used to do this um, many, many years ago, but uh, because of the length with some of these, it works really great as a belt. So if you have a longer, like, tunic top, you can wrap this around your waist and have a really nice sash style belt. So perfect for uh, fall. I have noticed in fashion magazines, and this is a classic go-to style, uh, a very nice style pea coat. And this is, uh, it comes down to me, this is your basic that comes down to um, a little past the waist, maybe on the hips. But this is one that I picked up at Target last year. This is a great basic brown, um, has the lapels, has the um, eight buttons that are down um, the front. And it's this one actually is more of a um, suede material. But I mean, pea coats are always, it is a classic style for fall. I mean, they were classic in um, the 90s, even with the grunge styles that were going on. For the pea coats, you'd want definitely a shorter style. But Jackie O wore them in the, um, I believe it was in the late 60s. Uh, they're they're just popular throughout the years because they're such a versatile style. They pretty much you can dress it up, dress it down. Looks great with jeans and a t-shirt. I mean, you can wear this over a fit and flare dress if you want to, you know, to have a dressier style. Just a great basic, and I highly recommend just your basic black or brown is very versatile. It's always in style, and yeah, I, I highly recommend that. Um, the other options or the other style options that I have that I would recommend as my third fall favorite or must have for fall would be boots. Boots are always great, especially here in Minnesota. You, I mean, it's like I said, you, we've already gotten some snow and you're going to have that. Um, also because the, we do have snow and a lot of ice, they do use salts to kind of melt that. And I don't want to invest a lot of money in boots that I know will get wrecked throughout the winter. So my go-to place for boots uh, here in Minnesota is Target. I really like them. It's a um, brand by Sam and Libby. I highly recommend going back to, like I said, with the coats, a basic black and a basic um, brown. Uh, if you've seen any fashion magazines or even gone online, seen 
um, what the hottest styles are. The basic Chelsea boot is a hot item. It has the uh, goring with the elastic detail. I picked these up and I believe these were about, um, I want to say close to $50, but between $40 and $50. Uh, but your basic black boot, I do like a little bit of heel. This is great. Um, just, I mean, you can dress this up. You can wear this with skinny jeans. You can wear this with a, a dress. Uh, great style. Like I said, the Chelsea boot is very popular this year, so I got those in the black. And then for my brown boots this year, and like I said, I don't like to spend a lot because usually the snow and the salt will ruin them. I pick these up, and these um, have your zipper detail on one side, and has the buckle detailing in it. This is, uh, it might look a little gold, but it's more of a burnished bronze. Um, this does have a zipper on this side, but it's not functional. It's just for um, fashion. But this also has a little bit of a higher heel. Great brown boot. Um, this one is not a really dark brown, it's more of a mossy brown, has a little bit of a green undertone, but I love the buckling detail on this, and yeah, this would be another must-have for fall, would be a great uh, classic brown boot, but this one is a little fancier than my uh, black boot that doesn't have really any detailing, but really like this. So that would be uh, for the uh, boots that I have. Uh, the beauty item that I'll have, uh, if you've seen any magazines, anything like that, you know that one of the popular Pantone colors for this season is uh, the color that I'm wearing, a, a burgundy color, uh, anything maroon, oxblood, those tones. Um, if you know, gluten-free option would be the Bite Beauty, and this is in Mulberry. I absolutely love this color. Um, I am wearing it right now, but I'm not wearing it to the intensity that it comes out of the tube. This is a great... I mean, perfect, like aubergine. Um, there we go. Um, it has a little bit of a brown undertone, but not too much. It's more of a berry color, and I hope you can pick that up. What I did today, just because I'm going to be running errands and I don't want a bold, bright lip, I just um, actually put it on and then uh, used a tissue just to blot it, and it creates almost a stain, and then I will apply like a... Um, lip gloss to it and I just used Vite and I'm not even sure if it's a, a color that you can get it was in a kit it's called vintage but it has a little bit of a plum undertone to it but I just applied I mean any lip gloss would uh, work in the purple berry tone for just that same color effect but just to mute it a little bit so that's what I did love this Vite Beauty um, this is the La Creme lipstick line these are absolutely the greatest um, you know, gluten-free lipsticks that I've tried, very creamy. Um, a lot of the bright colors will end up leaving like a stain, so um, a solid color on the lips. So even if you lose the full intensity of this, um, you still have that stain, and you could just apply a lip gloss throughout the day and, and have a perfectly great look. Now, for the last item that I have uh, in my five for fall category would be a candle. This is... Uh, and maybe sometimes I tell you it's just the names that really inspire me uh, to pick it up. But um, this is a Bath and Body Work candle. This is, if it will hold it, this is flannel. I love the detail. And this would be, I believe this is, uh, yes, the White Barn line. I love that they have the little new detail and the little leaves um, on their packaging this year. I think that is just absolutely cute. But flannel is one of those things that I usually end up, and I know that's not one of my five or fives, but I usually, I mean, once fall hits, I love my flannel. Um, maybe it's from the, you know, I went through that whole 90s grunge era, so maybe it's from that that it's just kind of, you know, memory lane. But I love this candle, and I, I'm not going to try, I'm horrible at describing this um, so I'll let you know. It says that uh, wrap yourself in a warm blend of bergamot, mahogany, and a delicate veil of musk. And you can definitely smell that musk. Um, it's a very warm scent. I love that it almost has, it's almost, and I guess my husband doesn't mind. He, I have to worry, not worry, but um, I have to be very sensitive about things that I burn because he does have uh, allergies and asthma. So I usually burn them when he's at work and not at home. But uh, he does not mind the scent when it comes home. It does have almost a uh, manly um, fragrance to it, a very light cologne smell that I really like. But there is a warmth to it. I'm not, 
uh, very light floral, but not overpowering. Um, I'm not one that really cares for a lot of floral. I like very clean, uh, crisp scent, and this definitely has it. Um, yeah, so I would highly recommend uh, taking a trip to um, Bath and Body Works to check out their new fall lines of candles, but I love this one. So um, that would be all for my five for fall. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, what I showed you. Please make sure that you go out. Um, like I said, I'll post a link below to Mar Mariah's channel and uh, see what she has for her five for fall. And I hope everyone's having a great day, and I'll see you guys later in my next video. Bye!